Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and today I'm going to show you how to use the X-Tech RPM40 contact and laser photo tachometer. Now, it's a pocket-sized tachometer that's capable of measuring wide RPM and linear surface speed and length. Now, the laser is for non-contact measurements of up to 4.9 feet. So what happens that allows the user to take measurements from a safe distance? It also has a cone tip and a wheel. Whee! I like that. So you can measure linear surface speed, and measurements are going to be shown on the LCD screen right here. The minimum, maximum, and last reading are stored in memory, there's your memory button right there, after each measurement. Now, we're going to put this to the test, but first, as always, you want to make sure you put on your appropriate PPE. So I took off my reading glasses here, and I've got my appropriate PPE. You should always do the same for whatever the job calls for. Now, the first reading we're going to take is going to be non-contact. And we put some reflective tape right here. We're going to crank this sucker up. We're going to put the laser on it. I'm going to show you. There's our laser right there, so you can see it on the reflective tape. Let's just see what kind of a measurement we get. All right, there's our laser. It's on the reflective tape. And we're hovering right around 3,500. That's real consistent. It is staying at 3,534. So that's our non-contact measurement. Pretty incredible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the functionality of this, and I'm going to use the wheel to take a contact measurement. And I'm hovering right around 5570 to 5600. So you can do it either way, but there's even a better function that I like, and that's the pencil sharpener hooked up to it. I prefer the traditional hand crank, but this is a heck of a lot more fun. Yeah, I like a nice tip on my pencil right there. Now, this tachometer is wonderful for helping catch impending mechanical failures before they occur. It is definitely a practical tool that should be a part of everyone's troubleshooting kit. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure to catch other videos on mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. We never had a pencil sharpener like that in school, but that would have been cool.